This is on Drop Rate, a series where I hunt items in Old School RuneScape within their stated rates according to the OSRS wiki. If I get the items within the rates, for example up to 10,000 lava dragons for a visage, I get to keep everything I earn during the grind. If I do not receive it, I have to give away half the loot to you guys, the viewers. With that, let's get into today's episode. By now, you have seen the title and the thumbnail of this video. It is finally time to complete the grind I have mentioned so many times in my intro. We are in this video venturing into the deeper part of the wilderness to defeat up to 10,000 lava dragons with one simple goal in mind. To receive the Draconic Visage, one of the most coveted items in old school runescape history. Deep into the wilderness, here we are at the Lava Dragons, but there is one thing I need to get done before we can get into the grind. This agility shortcut in the long term is going to save me a lot of time running around to get to the Lava Dragons, but it requires the Hard Wilderness Diary to actually use, and I have not completed even the easy one. Easy Diary completed, Medium Diary done, and the last task has been done, the hard tasks are completed, let's go and get the rewards. Wilderness Sword 3 has been achieved, and also some XP lamps, so let's use them all on agility, because no one wants to train this skill, if you do, you're a bit crazy, but that is, like what, 25,000 free agility experience? Because this is in the wilderness, I have to use a bit of a budget setup, this is the gear I'm going to be using, and I think it looks absolutely sick, a nice opportunity to use this setup, and this is my inventory as well, I'm going to be using a cannon, not sure how effective it's going to be, but let's give it a try. And we can now actually cross these stepping stones, saving a lot of time, so let's now find a good cannon spot, this is probably good. And the first KC is completed, let's see what the first loot is. Actually not bad at all, and the loot tracker has been added as well. That was 100k for the first drop is ridiculous. One of the things I'm actually dreading quite a lot with this grind is how many elite clue scrolls we're probably going to be doing, because they are not the most fun clues to do. The drop rate is 1 in 250, meaning we will probably be doing 40 elites if we go all the way to 10,000 KC. And we have the first peak hairs. I am definitely dead here, but that is okay. I am not risking all too much, and I am definitely expecting this to happen quite a lot. We got the freeze. Am I actually getting a gap? They splashed twice. No way am I actually getting away from this. That would be hilarious. And we're out. You know, from just doing the first 15 kills, I feel like I got a good feel for how good the cannon is, and in like... 150 cannonballs i think it hit like five times so i am just not going to be bringing that anymore it's not worth the risk i have now put a one hour timer on the screen and we're going to be starting it right now to see how many kills we can actually get in one hour to kind of gauge how long this grind is going to be so we're starting on 15 kc so let's see where we end after an hour these drops are going to be carrying probably the money made, 100,000 GP every single time we get these, and they're probably not that rare, I'll put the loot or the drop rate on the screen right now. I'm actually really happy to say that I waited all this time to do this grind, because the accursed scepter that works like a trident, you can see how strong this is in the wilderness. I have seen like a 55 max hit so far, which is absolutely ridiculous. One thing I want to make clear very early on is that I'm not bringing a bone crusher to this grind, even though it would be extremely smart to do so, because when burying these lava dragon bones on the island, you actually get a prayer boost for doing so. I can run over here and actually just pick these up, bury them, and you get 340 prayer experience. The reason why I'm not going to be bringing a bone crusher is actually because I just want to see how much value all the bones is going to stack up to at the end of the grind, because they are worth quite a lot of GP, so it's going to be a good chunk of the money. And of course, with a bone crusher, none of them would get tracked. Yeah, of course, I am not going to be pausing the timer when I get PK'd or when I am banking because this is probably going to be a pretty common occurrence at this place. And we have another player as well, so I can't even walk under. And these guys are getting absolutely finessed, bro. Oh my g- Yo, did you see that special attack? 73 and it wasn't even a max hit. This is crazy. Alright, so it's 19 minutes left and we got the first elite clue scroll and of course this is a part of the grind so I'm going to include this in the timer as well. It's going to be quite a big time sink. And the first one completed in around 7 minutes, actually pretty quick. 
And with 17 seconds left, this is the last kill I will have time to do, and it's going to end the counter at 131 Lava Dragons. Minus the 15 we started with, that is 116 in one hour. Of course, including the PKers that attacked me, and also the Elite Clue Scroll that I had to do. That means if I do this 10 hours a day, that is still 8 and a half days. Oh my god, look at this. I'm getting the Lava Dragons down below 50% with my own damage. And then I just let the bot finish it off. And uh, it is going to be my loot. Thank you so much for your service. And that is the last hit for the bot. And of course, the loot is mine. Oh my goodness. Second elite so early already. 178 on drop rates. We shouldn't even have one of them. But that will be the last one I'll show on the video. And I can show some milestones as well. Oh my god, 80 Scepter special attack, not even max it. I forgot my Book of Darkness this trip, unfortunate, but one good thing is that I've not actually seen basically any PKers for around 3 hours now. So I've been getting pretty good kills an hour, like 130, 140, so that is ridiculously good. It can shave off a lot of time on the grind, and also I am using the 2000 skill total worlds, so maybe a lot of the PKers who do uh, kill the bots here, they are not going into this world because no bots are in the 2000 worlds. I swear, I knew this was such a jinx. As soon as I start talking about no PKers, of course a PKer arrives, but maybe we can escape. I land the freeze, skip the rocks, and if I don't, oh my god, did you see that hit? I think I'm fine though, unless... Yeah, I think I'm fine. I got away, but oh my god, how low was I HP there? <laughs> Holy shit. We are now coming up on the first milestone, I guess, of 500 Lava Dragons killed. And we are still actually on the first day of killing this. We're making some awesome progress just on the first day. I do also want to mention that at this point, we are now getting 14.8 thousand GP average per kill. Meaning if I go all the way to 10,000 kills... This is going to be roughly 148 million GP earned from just Lava Dragons. Now, I do also want to mention that there are two disaster drops that I never want to see on this grind. The first one is Shield Left Half at 1 in 10,388, slightly more rare than the Draconic Visage. And the second one is the Dragon Spear at 1 in 13,851. So seeing any of these just means I hit something that is equally or even more rare than the Draconic Visage. Definitely just had my longest trip so far, 754k in the looting bag, and a bunch of stuff here as well, probably like 850k. It has been a very long day, I really wanted the first day to be 1000kc, and after this one, we're going to actually be hitting it. And uh, we have actually got very lucky on Elite Clue Scrolls, I've got 7 of them so far, when I should have only got 4 of them. And that has definitely dragged out on the time quite a bit. But there we go. That is the first 1,010% of the grind done. And it's time to go to bed. This guy is taking the most damage. Let's go for a spec. 70. Oh my god. That's a max hit. 32 on player. He almost died. Oh, that was so close. We could have actually got a PK with the scepter. Oh, I think that's the max hit. 81! We finally saw the max hit on video. I've seen it before, but I never got it on video. Because I'm staying at the Lava Dragons as long as I possibly can every single trip, I am probably getting like 100 kills every single trip that I do, unless I get hit by a PKer, and there is no way I can possibly get 100 bones into my inventory and bring to the bank. For example, my looting bag is already very full, and I'm not even done with this trip yet, but with all the bones that I do not bank, I'm trying my best to actually bury them to still get the insane prayer experience from them. That does not mean, however, I am not going to be counting in the bones as actual value if I do lose the challenge and I do the giveaway. That is a pretty big milestone for Elite Clue Scrolls. Let's head over to a bank. 10 Elite Clue Scrolls in 1.7k KC. Very lucky so far. Well, we are nearing the end of the second day. I'm not going to be quite done after this one. But I have been here now for eight and a half hours just constantly killing Lava Dragons today for 2000 KC. I still have some in me, so I'm going to go a bit longer for today. But we have now hit over a million magic experience 
only doing this, which is kind of crazy. So far, I haven't died a single time from PKers, and we have not seen the she left half or the dragon spear yet, so I guess things are going pretty good so far. And we get PK'd at the end of this trip. I am so tired. I think after this one, I'm going to end it for today. And we got away. Time to go to bed. It has been a couple of hours into the next day and you can see on the counter, I actually missed it by a bit, but we are now over slightly a quarter of the way done to the 10,000 kill count. Oh no way, he has a partner with a scepter as well? They're splashing on me pretty heavily though. Again? Just one more, I need one more level. <laughs> oh my god, I think collectively they splashed like five times. That is so unlucky for them. Well, it was bound to happen sometime. This is probably the first death of the video, Redemption. Oh my god, I actually got that red- uh, never mind. Wait, no way. Did I just- I think I just smited myself. I did. No way. I lost my scepter. Did I lose anything? I don't think I lost anything else. That is like three mil down the drain. Well, uh, this is not a good day. Second death, but not smited this time. That was very close to the last one. You can see on my kill count, but I did keep the scepter this time. Another really nice perk of completing the Hard Wilderness Diaries is that I can now choose where to teleport with these obelisks. I guess most people have this already unlocked, but I have not had that for the longest time. So doing the clue scrolls in the wilderness now is going to be way quicker. And uh, by the way, we just hit 3000 KC. Oh my god, I completely missed that. I did not realize how much prayer experience I must have been getting. I just got the first prayer level of the grind. And each level, you can see how much experience I need for each level. I'll put the experience I've gained so far on the screen right now. That is a crazy amount. So we are coming up on 3500 KC. And right now it is the 18th of July. And in 8 days from now, so the 26th of July... The Desert Treasure 2 quest is coming out, and I would like to finish this grind before that, so let's see if we can do it in 8 days from now. It is now, by the way, day 4 of the grind, meaning we need to pick up the pace. I know, I know, this is definitely a bit crazy, but I woke up very early today, and I want to try and do a 13-hour day to go all the way from 3.5k to 5,000 KZ just today. I think we might have the first PK on our hands here. It's a Serration Robe guy. He is Scald. Probably not risking too much, but I guess we'll see. Yeah, he's running from me now. What is this pathing? No way he got away. Yeah, that was some bad pathing, but I think I could have got him. This is insane. This has never happened to me, and I'm kind of sad I didn't record the entire thing. But you can see in the chat, this Elite Clue Scroll has been four sherlock steps in a row completed first one second one third one and i get a fourth sherlock step in a row this is i have never seen this happen is the streak going to die here on the fourth one that's open bro what is happening this has to be a bug five times in a row what that is something's wrong okay if i get a sixth step here then it has to be bugged but uh, let's hand it in and we actually get the casket so i guess we're not going to see but there is a system update that had like a five minute notice so maybe this actually is bugged as it turns out clues were not bugged at all and i was just extremely lucky it was only some server issues and if someone want to calculate the odds of that five sherlock steps in a row please let me know in the comments Oh, oh my god! No way! Oh my god! 3,874kc, Draconic Visage on the ground. When you do these grinds and you have spent here like 35 hours, you don't even think they exist at a certain point. Of course, I was super lucky. Oh my god, look at my clan chat. But yeah, I guess we're done. That saves a lot of time. I guess we're getting this video out before Desert Treasure 2. Oh my god, it does exist. Of course, now that we have a visage, we need to make the dragon fire shield by ourselves by hand. And I just got a smithing level to be able to boost all the way to 90 smithing with these Kovac grogs. So let's go ahead and do that. 90 smithing, use the item on the anvil. I've never done this before. This is going to be so sick to make my own dragon fire shield 2000 smithing experience. Let's go outside here and equip this thing. We made this from scratch. That is really cool.
But let's go ahead and open the 17 elites we got on this grind. Getting masters from these is one in five, so we should be seeing quite a lot of them. Musketeer's hat, first one, is already a unique. We're getting so many collection log slots. Oh my god, that is not a unique, but I'll take it. And we have the first master. All right, mask completed. Let's keep going. How long is it going to take before we get another one? I guess one is the answer. Okay, 12 more to go. Let's see how long it takes this time. Let's see how much they're worth. 153k. We're getting a quite decent value deletes and 100k. I thought that was going to be something massive. Then we get another master. Last six elites, are we going to get another master in this? The answer to that is yes. I really want to get these masters open, so let's see if we're going to be getting any more in the last four of them. Ooh, bucket helmet, another unique, not worth a lot. Another top hat, and the last one is another master. So I guess that is going to be an overall of five masters. Never mind, I guess it's only going to be four masters. 87 herb lore is unfortunately a bit too far away. Master clues are always super exciting to open, so let's see what we're going to be getting from these four masters. 200k, would love to get a mimic actually. 2.8 million tormented ornament kit. We are making money. That has to be pretty rare. I'll put the uh, rarity of that on the screen right now. And let's continue. Two more to go. 400k. And the last one is 375k. Including all the monetary value of the clue scrolls that I just opened. This is how much I made from the Lava Dragon grind. 40.2 million GP. I did not manage, of course, to pick up a lot of the bones, but I also did manage to get 600,000 prayer experience just from burying the excess bones. I could definitely have got a bit more prayer experience than that, but I did prioritize getting more kills an hour over picking up every single bone, but I'm pretty happy with what I got. Last video, we had an 11.1 .1 million GP giveaway from the Temporus video, so let's see who the winner is going to be. It is safe spot Ted. I was asking myself why you weren't doing the firefighter method just as you started explaining it. And of course, here's the trade of the 11.15 million GP. Hope you enjoy that.